Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful Fine Heart Saint Valentine's bracelet. It's easy to make, it's like a beginner's level tutorial, so I'm sure by the end of this video you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you wanna support me, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell and like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and in this way you won't miss any new videos as well. So now without further ado let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are really simple stuff. I use two colors of 11 o seed beads, you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. Here I use a lobster's claw clasp and a jump ring. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. And by the way, down there in the description, you will find a full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips, and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about two feet of thread on my needle which is about 60 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm going to start with the pink color and I'm gonna be showing you how to make these cute little hearts. Okay I'm taking now four of these beautiful pink beads and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle here in my mat and what I want to do is to make a knot and how I make it, I take my tail thread and I go twice through this loop I've made and I pull and then I'm going to make one more knot like this. Okay, so I have these four pink beads together. Now I'm taking my needle and I'm going through two of those four beads. You see holes are pointing in this direction. Okay, I have this. Now I'm going to continue with the herringbone stitch. If you're not familiar, don't worry, it's really easy. I take two beads and as I'm exiting through one of those two pinks, I'm going through the other one, just like this. I fix it like this. And I take this thread in this direction and then I go backwards through these two pink beads. You see where I'm going. Okay, and I'm pulling. Okay, this is basically the herringbone stitch. Let me show you here in the black background to be more visible what I have. Then again, I'm going to repeat this, go backwards through one of the beads, go like this with the thread and then go through these two beads in this direction. And I'm going to repeat this step two more times. I will have six rows of herringbone stitch, okay? Okay guys, now I have this and now I want to get rid of this tail thread that I have here in the beginning and you could do it in two ways, by putting your needle on it and making a knot and cutting it or without the needle. I will show you now the way without the needle. What I do, I just go through one of those beads here. Then what I want to do is make here a knot before I cut it. And how I do this, I just make a loop and go twice through this loop I've made. 
maybe with needle it will be easier if you leave it longer and do this with needle it will be easier and then what I do is that I go with this tail thread in the following seed bead just like this and then I cut my thread I just want to be everything to be really secure but if you leave this end longer and move your needle it will be easier now I will continue with my work I will take two beads okay like this and I will go backwards through these two you see my thread is exiting here I'm taking two and I'm going backwards through, through two beads okay just like this now I go through one of these newly added beads like this and I will continue with herringbone stitch okay I take two and as I did before I go through the other one you see and I pull and then I go backwards through these two beads you see everything is like I'm doing regular herringbone as I showed you in this row okay then I'm going to continue the same thing two beads go through one in this direction fix them and go through two beads in this direction Okay. now here I need to make one more row because I want the shoulders of my work to be the same the same length you see now the shoulders are four and four rows okay now what I want to do is go backwards through three beads like this and I will flip my work I will turn my work in this direction because it's easier for me okay like this now you see where my thread is after the third bead and I'm going to take one bead and I'm going here in the same place but in the other row you see one bead away from the angle and three beads away from here from this end here at the same place And when I pull, I have this pink bead here in the middle. Okay. Now, what I want to do is go here through two beads. And what I want to do is change directions. Okay, and how I do this, I go diagonally through this bead like this okay and I pull then I go backwards through all of those beads here and my goal guys is to exit through this bead but in this direction from the outside to the center okay you see what I have now and where I'm exiting I'm exiting from this bead in this direction now what I want to take here are three pink beads three of them and I go here in the center through this pink bead then I want to take another three and I go here through this pink bead okay 
now I have something like a heart here. And what I want to do next is go through all of those beads in this direction. And I'm aiming here for this bead, the bottom of the heart. Okay. Now, guys, I'm going to repeat all of those steps and I'm going to make another heart, but this time it will be in silver color. Okay, I'm going to be using this. When I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and here is the silver color heart and here is the pink color heart. And now I'm going to be showing you how to start your bracelet and how to connect those two elements together. Here I also didn't cut my uh, thread. You see it's still here attached to this heart. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is uh, to attach this uh, clasp here to my work. How I do this, I take two seed beads, I also take my clasp and then again I take two seed beads and now I use the silver color and I go backwards through this bead here the bottom of my heart okay and I'm doing this reinforcing And after I feel I reinforced it enough, I'm going to make a knot here and cut this thread. Okay, I make here a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and I pull. And then I will go through one or two beads in this direction. And by the way, you could repeat this knot several more times. When you're ready with the last knot, go through some beads in this direction and cut your thread. Okay, this is a really nice beginning of a bracelet, don't you think so? Okay, now I'm going to move my needle here at this end of this uh, silver heart and I'll be back. If you forgot how I'm doing the heart, just rewind the video to the pink heart and repeat it with silver color and you will be okay. Okay, now I have just finished the silver heart and what I want to do is again reach this bit that is sticking out the most at the bottom of the heart. Okay, this one here. What I do next is that I want to connect this silver heart using this thread that I still haven't cut to the pink heart. And how I do this, I will go through these two pink beads here, you see. This one and the one at the angle. Okay, then after that I will turn this silver bead in this direction. You see here is the thread that is between the silver one and the pink one. I hope you see it at this black background. And then I go through the following pink bead. Okay, so now what I have is this. My thread is going out of the silver, going through the three pink beads here at the inner angle. And now it will go backwards through the, the silver. You see I have here a loop between those beads, okay, the three of the pink heart and the one of the silver heart. And when I pull, I connected them. Then what I do is that I want to go like this and reinforce this joint. 
Okay, to be sure it's not going anywhere. And after that, guys, go through some beads in this direction. Like that. Make a loop. Go twice through the loop. Go through the following seed beads. And then cut your trail, tail thread. Okay, guys. And now, until the end of my bracelet, I'm going to do, be doing the same thing. I'm going to be making a heart, connecting it to the previous uh, heart and cutting my thread. This is all I'm going to be doing. And I will do it to the desired length. And then I'll be back to tell you how to finish it. Okay guys, and you see as I continue beading what I have here. I have 14 hearts. You could do more or less depending on the use you are making it for. And you could always put an extension chain uh, to, for a bigger wrist. Okay, this one is great for my wrist. So now I'm going to be finishing this. Okay, I'm here where I just connected this silver heart to this pink heart. And what I want to do is go in this direction and reach the other part of this heart. Okay, now what I want to do is go here through this central bead. And then I will go through the following silver after this inner angle. Okay, here I am. Now I'm going to take my jump ring and I will take two pink beads, my jump ring and two more pink beads. Okay, this is what I have. This is what I have now. And I will go in the same place here, one silver bead away from this center, central angle. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going backwards like this. Okay, now I have my jump ring attached. And I'm going to reinforce this joint. Okay, and after I reinforce it, I will find the place to make a knot and cut my thread. And you already know how I do this. I make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and pull. And I could repeat this several more times when I'm ready. I'm going through the following seed bead and cutting my thread. And now, guys, my Saint Valentine's Fine Hearts bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you help me so much and you won't miss a thing. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips, and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.